Hi there everyone, my name's Dave West, I hope we're all doing well. So welcome back to another mini photo editing tutorial, and today concentrating on astrophotography shots. Uh, so most smartphones can now do uh, fantastic low light shots, uh, just doing it handheld. Uh, however, there are some handsets which can do some really spectacular stuff, namely the Pixel 4 and Pixel 4 XL with their astrophotography mode. And most phones with a Pro mode can get some really good shots of the stars as well with the use of a tripod and a long exposure. So first of all, thanks to my friend Robert, aka Skunky Mule on Twitter. He sent over a couple of his Pixel 4 astrophotography shots. I'm going to use one of those in this video to show you how I can really add some, uh, some punch to those particular shots. And I'm also going to use one of my own ones, which I took of the ISS space station passing over the house a few days back. So we're going to be using Adobe Lightroom Mobile. I personally find this the best for editing astrophotography shots, and that's what, I'm, what we're going to be using in this video. So I've already imported uh, the two photos into the application, so we're going to be using this image here, and there's also one a bit further down of the ISS space station passing over the house. So the first one I'm going to be using is uh, Robert Shot, which at first glance isn't a bad effort at all. For something just taken on a tripod, with a long exposure around about four minutes that is a really really good image still blows me away that smartphones can do this kind of thing now but there's a few things you can do with this image to really help add a more spectacular look to it and it's just some very small tweaks you'd be quite surprised uh, at how little you have to do to really get the most from this image so i'm not going to touch the white balance uh, just yet we'll do that later on just to alter the overall hue of the actual look of the photo but what I want to do is just crop out some of the vignetting in the corner. This is caused by the, the lens of the phones. You do get some darkish corners. Uh, we don't really want those in the photo. We want to concentrate on this center part here and these parts of the image here as well. So just use the cropping tool and just move around the image. We want to get this part of the image more or less centered. You can go a little bit more a bit off the side as well. Keep this in the center. So we're just getting rid of the parts where there's a bit of darkness in the corners. Now, what I usually do, first of all, is if I just use the dehaze tool, we're not gonna be using dehazing in the photo. If you watch this area of the image here, so use the dehaze tool, we can see we've got some like really deep constellations of the stars in the center. So what I want to do is actually bring out the whites in that part of the image, just to help add some real impact to how the overall look is. I'm just gonna put that back to zero. Go. So go into the lighting section of the Lightroom app and just increase the whites. And if you watch that center part of the image, it's now bringing out more of that part of the image. And we can then use the highlights just to add a little bit more. So we can see already, it's already adding some real impact and brightness to the actual stars. It's really bringing out more of the detail in the image. So next thing I want to do then is I can apply just a little bit of dehazing. Just a tiny bit. You can see just by adding a small amount, it kind of brings out the uh, huge amount of packed stars in the center of the image. So we can also add a little bit of texture. I'll just show you how this works. If I go backwards, I'm seeing less of the stars and it's very kind of out of focus. But if I move the slider upwards and go past zero, it adds some real detail and really brings out all of the stars that you couldn't actually see with your naked eye in the sky. I'm just going to bring back the dehazing just slightly because it's adding some noise into the image. So pretty happy with how that looks now. So there's the original and there is the editing so far. So what I do then is just decrease the blacks slightly and then do the same with the exposure. Now we can really see now we're bringing out all of those stars in the image. I wouldn't worry about a little bit of blocking noise here. I mean, the focus point of the image is the stars. And there's some slight imperfections there, but in all fairness, your eyes are drawn to other areas of the image anyway. So we can also decrease the shadows just slightly. And just bring up the white just a little bit more, just to add some impact to the center of the image there. And that's pretty much all I need to do. So there's our original. There is the finished, not quite finished, edit of the image. And then all I want to do just to finish the image off is just to adjust the temperature just slightly. 
just about a real kind of wow factor with the color in the image there. This is all very subjective. You don't have to do this, but it's just something that I like to do just to give a real pop to the, the color and overall look of the image. So that is how we started off. Not bad by any means. And that's how the image is finished. So once you're, once you're happy that you've made all of your corrections, just save this to the device and then you can use that to share as you wish later on. So before and after, and that's just some things that you can do to improve your astrophotography shots. So that's that one done out of the way. Uh, next one we're going to do then is the ISS space station, which was flying over the house a few days back. Now this is actually a raw image. So basically this is exactly how it was captured with the information in the camera. I have to apologize for the portrait orientation on this landscape video, but I do find that with these kind of shots, doing it in portraits style does really add to the overall impact with the kind of size and scale uh, of the aircraft flying through the sky. So the first things we want to do then is just go into the lighting tool. And again, we just want to increase the light parts of the image. Also do the highlights as well. You can see it's just bringing up the stars already in the sky. But one thing I want to do, if you look around here, you can see there's a little bit of blowout which has occurred on the lens. Now that is the moon. The moon is a very tricky subject to capture, and this is Venus just off to the right here. So things like that are very tricky to capture, but due to the amount of light being let into the lens, we have got a bit of glare with this green part here. So what we can do is use the healing tool just to get rid of that little blemish. So you press the plaster, which is on the options here then pick this option here which is just the, the round receptacle and just click on the part of the image you want to remove and that is it that is done it's not brilliant from there but when you move backwards you can hardly see it and we're just going to be reducing the blacks of it anyway so that should get rid of any uh, small part of where the correction is just going to move the blacks back just a touch and the next thing I want to do then is to add some texture to really bring out the stars. So if we move the texture slider, we can see it's bringing out more of the stars in the sky. You can kind of go as much or as little as you want really. It's all pretty subjective and down to your own personal preference. We want to give a real sense of scale of that aircraft flying through the sky. Now I know it's just a white line, it doesn't look particularly spectacular, but the fact you can get these kind of shots anyway is pretty cool anyway. Right, so one thing I want to do then is just add a tiny bit of exposure. Just a pinch. A little more. There we go. And that is that. And then just reduce the shadows slightly. That is the difference between the original and the finished edit. One thing I do want to do is get rid of this weird white balance uh, which has occurred when taking the shot. But the good thing with shooting raw images is that you can correct that later on, as you can with JPEGs, to be honest. You can do it quite quite easily. It's very flexible. So we want to get rid of the purple tint, tint, sorry, the purplish look on the image, just by moving the temperature slide. I want to kind of give it more of a blue look, because this was taken just after sunset. It's what we call the blue hour. There we go. Now that does look a bit too blue, but what we can do is just, just decrease the saturation slightly. Just to give it a slightly milder look. There we go. So there's our original. And there is the finished edit. I could crop out the lens vignette in, in the corners of the image, but be perfectly honest with you i think it looks quite good as it is and we've got a real sense of scale of where the space station is kind of flying from from the west over to the over the top of the house and beyond that so again those are just some quick things you can do to really boost your astrophotography shots you can apply this to pretty much any astrophotography shot or night mode shot where you've got stars in it uh, but if you've got any questions or anything any suggestions even or anything you didn't like in this particular video or anything we can do better then please do let me know in the comments and i will get back to you as soon as possible and please don't forget if you're new around here then please consider subscribing so don't miss more videos coming like this very soon plus other videos on the channel very shortly but for now this has been my mini tutorial on improving your astrophotography shots 
My name's Dave West, and I will catch you guys later.